So again, um, this is another type of material you can you can use is this uh, blender. If you remember um, last time we mixed, um, we had this kind of a split between the uh, the dark and light areas in the air that was tied to cameras. But now we just do it basically to show to trans to transition between the order photo and wireframe. So we have um, we have the order photo uh, set up here in your node network. That's a simple node, um, like the other nodes. It's, it's just an image texture go to diffuse. Um, and um, we also have a wireframe node. This wireframe node is a bit more complex because we want it to be also um, glowing. We want it to be both white and, 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 and blue. We also want to control the size of the wireframe. This is the wireframe node you can see here. I'll take the this guy. How did you create the, the groups? Like the frames? Mm -hmm. you, just, you just need to add um, to the layout a frame. These frames don't do anything. This is just I for, know, for, you for your for yeah. visualization. For you to I know. will yeah. delete it. Yeah. So, um, so we have a wireframe node. We have um, two mixed shaders that actually change the transparency and imaging. Um, and so this is the area that you have to watch frame and then you have the order photo. And then like before, we assign the camera to change the, 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 the uh, split between these two. So once you have it here, this is kind of changing um, based on your camera direction between these, uh, these two representations. And if you, if you attempt to render this, you'll see what you get. So you see both facets of your data. You see the texture and the structure in real time. You want to make it cool so it's, it's blue. Um, you, can, you can have it as, as, as white or black um, based on How what do you export the animations? That would be hopefully what we will go over next session. Okay, yeah. great, because I'm already thrilled yes. about showing the data. So what, what we will do next session is basically we'll, um, we will type camera to um, an imaginary flight route, because unfortunately for this data set, we didn't have a flight route um, that is imported from GIS, and then we'll, um, and that, that camera would constantly change between these two transitions, so your animations would be going over the flight, but also being able to see um, both type of structures at the same time. Um, so there are some parameters here um, that you can change on the fly. Um, so here you can see this blue is the color of the uh, the wireframe. So I can make it much darker. This is how it changes. Uh, the degree of these these transparencies here would change how much you want to have the solid um, this kind of the transparency of this uh, wireframe. So at this point, you can see that there's this kind of uh, a hole behind it. And if you make it complete zero, it's completely transparent. Mm -hmm. And if you want to have a holographic effect, uh, you need some of those there. And here you have your uh, wireframe size. So if I zoom here, and if I change it to 0.3, you can see the wireframe is much thicker. So depending on the distance you would get to this guy, you can change the size. Okay, so I think you're doing good at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. Almost there. So, um, do for next session, we will um, we will do this camera animation thing, and then after that uh, we'll go over some uh, simple techniques how to export your data to web using uh, Blender uh, Blender for web add-on. Um, there is one part that we didn't get today, and that's importing the DSM, but uh, hopefully there is very uh, comprehensive tutorial there that we can guide you through the, all these steps. And if you have questions, please post on the forum. Um, yeah, that's all for today. Yes. And then uh, uh, also on Thursday, uh, I will try to propose the, uh, 